So this is typically my breakfast. Avocado, mushroom steak, sweet potato, olive oil, a banana, a bar, and a serve of cicada, as well as some supplements. And while I eat, I watch, I've been going through all of Iman Ghazi's old videos. Uh, here's a little sneak peek of what's to come. I'm gonna do my absolute best to produce the best content I can. I've just been writing a script, um, sort of just taking what's in my mind and putting it on paper. This is sort of very rough, but and it's nowhere near done, but I'm just giving a update. So yeah. So I'm back. I've been um, really, really just focusing on making that video about my diet. And um, as you might've seen from the time-lapse earlier, there was something in a, the book I'm reading that really resonated with me and I wanted to, to share it real quick. So I'm reading Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game, and it's a lot about, you know, mastering money. But one of his chapters in there, um, it was chapter 2.9, and just what he said in there really resonated with me, so I wanted to, to share that. Um, and he says, what's holding us back from achieving whatever we want to achieve is our limiting beliefs. And we all have a fear of failing. Like every everyone is scared about failing, you know, whether it's failing school or, or just not fitting in socially. And I think the difference between a confident person and someone who isn't confident is like, how many times that confident person has failed. So obviously the most basic example is a guy that's never cold approached a girl before is not gonna be confident at all and that's me. I've I've never done it. I've been scared. I really I need to make a change. Okay? But when I, when I do do it, I'm gonna be terrible at it and I don't know, maybe maybe the girl will out of pity. Um give me her Instagram or whatever. But compared to a guy who's done it a hundred, a thousand times before, he's going to be so much more confident regardless of what she looks like, regardless of what he's wearing or if he's shaved or not. He's just going to go up. He's just going to say, ah, oh, you know, her loss, whatever. And I think that's a really, really good mindset to adopt. And obviously this learning to not be afraid of failing is a skill and we need to practice it and it's something that I really need to practice and something that I will be practicing on this channel in the future. For the for the last couple couple months, last two months, I was really, really scared about failing with this YouTube channel. You know, people judging me for, for making this YouTube channel. And I guess now it's sort of something that I've come over and um, yeah, I guess obviously I know that this video is not going to get a lot of views and it's nowhere near perfect or high quality production level, but everyone's got to start somewhere, right? So here I am, I'm turning up again and I'm making another video. Um, what Tony actually said in his book was... To, for a person to change, they need to change their strategy, their story, and their state. And I'll sort of try and explain, I guess in my own example, what those three things mean. So first of all, his strategy, you've got to change your strategy, right? Obviously, I've been, I've been trying to make a YouTube channel for like two months now, and nothing really worked. And I guess I sort of had to change my strategy, I guess. And the reason as to why I've actually done it is because I've been watching all of Iman Ghazi's last, oldest videos. And it's just him, you know, he, he's he got acne all over his face, he's in the gym just talking to the camera, lifting heavy, not caring what anyone else thinks. And if you look at his, you know, progression throughout life, it's obviously started there and it's morphed into 
a life that everyone wants. I guess for me, if I want to live anything close to Iman Ghazi's life, I have to follow his path and his footsteps and the way that he sort of entered into the this, the world of success. And I think that if I'm able to, I guess, follow his strategy, because ultimately his strategy did work, he's now living like an, an incredible life. And so I think if if we can follow someone that we really admire and really just dig into every aspect of their life and try and mimic our life, then that's fantastic. The next the next thing he talked Tony Robbins talked about was story. And I guess in terms of me, my story is gonna be this YouTube channel. You're gonna see my progression and my growth over a number of years on this YouTube channel. And I think that this story is gonna be just really, really inspiring. That's what I hope. I hope that seeing me sitting here right now for people right now and in the future, seeing me sitting here talk about this stuff, manifesting this sort of stuff, I think, and I hope that it's really gonna inspire people. And the final thing that he talked about was changing your state. And I don't think I'm quite there yet in terms of changing my whole state because I think changing your state is kind of like a big conceptual shift. And so I think right now I'm just sort of focusing on developing my story and changing my strategy to sort of reflect what Imam has done. And I think maybe in six months' time, it will make a little bit more sense to me, the whole idea of changing my my state and lastly I just want to say like not understanding the whole book so obviously the whole idea of your state for me it doesn't really make a lot of sense yet and I think that in say six months time or a year's time when I actually go back to reading the book I think that a lot more things in there that I've sort of gone over my head are going to make a lot more sense and I think that going back, rereading, re-listening on Audible is really, really fantastic because obviously you read a book once, you might you might highlight some stuff and you might write some notes and you might, you know, put it put it on your computer or whatever, but you're only gonna take like ten percent of that knowledge in. And rereading it, you're just gonna compound on that. And so I'll give an example. When I, when I read um, 48 Laws of Power about two months ago now, there were maybe like five laws in there that I, that I really understood. I thought, wow, I'm going to apply this to my life and it's going to help me amazingly. The other 43 laws in there, probably at the moment, I guess my appetite wasn't big enough to sort of digest and fully understand those laws. And my hope is that when I read the book again in a year's time, that instead of just five laws making sense, it might be something like 10 laws that make sense to me. And just because I've developed further in my career and in my, in my quest to power, some more laws that are in there will be more applicable to me. And yeah, hopefully I read that book, you know, maybe five times in my life. And every time I read it, I hope that more and more laws make sense and more and more laws I can actually use in my life to get, get more power. <sighs> Anyways, that's really all I wanted to say. I am going to go eat now and then I'm going in the gym. The plan is I'm going to get a PR deadlift. My PR will be 120 uh, kilograms. I feel like I can definitely get that up. Maybe I'll go for 125, but I'm gonna be doing some, some squats, maybe three to five reps, three sets, and then I'll do some deadlift, go for my one rep max, and then after that, I'm just gonna be doing some accessory movements, and I will probably check back in with you tonight.
Um, so as you can see, I got a 10 kilo PR, which I'm really happy with. Looking back on editing this video, it looks so weird. Um, no structure, just a bunch of random together. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm just, I'm still trying to find, you know, my style and how I want to make videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope one person gets something valuable out of this, but see you next time.